to us all. He didn't deserve to die, especially at a young age. He was a good friend. He was a brother, a son, and a lover. We should all remember his bravery and courage on the battlefield. His death has given us a second chance. And that's a lot of things in the world that we live in today. Not everybody gets a second chance. Master! Lydia, I'm so sorry, I can't possibly... You were supposed to be with him! You left him there to die! Not what you think! Please, listen to me. There are few of us left. We were cornered. Our only chance to survive was to surrender. But as much as I tried, he didn't want to. Instead, they held down the marriage as long as they could, so I could escape, and I could make everyone in town to save Bonifacio. Lydia, I'm so sorry. It was my life! That's nothing! It's because of you and you! And you still don't want to take your man! He's not just a little boy! I think we all have something to learn from this. Gregorio was a great young man. His death was so sudden and untimely. But it was his decision to die. He chose pride over practicality. He could have ran. He chose to be a hero. All of those men who died at the battlefield died, and they all died blindfolded with false, with false hopes of victory coming from a false leader. Choose your words carefully. First of all, show a little reverence for the dead, and second, don't ever disrespect the reason those men gave up their lives. No, he's right. Of course. Ever since this uprising began a month ago, we've lost more men than seven months of fighting the Spanish. I already lost one son to this war. I'm not intending to lose another one. Test and now. I can, Malcora. I think we need to show some humility. We should put our hopes to a side. It has turned into arrogance without even realizing it. Like I said before, General Del Pilar's sacrifice gave us all another chance. A chance that we must now use to better our future. We must make way for the Americans. We should accept their rule and let them help us. The 
American delegate has elected our General Emilio Aguinaldo to be the first president of the Philippine Republic, me as his advisor. Father's execution. I remember him being also dragged to the ground as the Spanish soldier beat him up with the muskets and the general would spit at his face. Then another soldier will scream at the crowd, may this be a lesson to the rest of you. Something along those lines. Then they had him kneel down, battered and bleeding. As they had said, the assembly of gunfire. But before he died, before your father died, I saw his face. He was all scared and fragile, crying like a little girl. It was a music. Should have been. Don't die in a mall! I swear to God, I'll kill you where you stand! I wouldn't touch me if I were you, unless I'd want to suffer like Luna. You killed him? I'll give you people one chance. Leave! For the safety of your wife and expected child, you have no other choice. <laughs> 